Hi, this is another video tutorial for the Bear Marketing Network's content management system. In this video, we're simply going to learn how to uh, resize images. What we're looking at right here is the main screen you come to after logging in, and what you want to do is click on Select Image, or excuse me, Manage Images. Go ahead and click on that, and you'll see uh, from the last video we uploaded two images here. Um, and what we're going to do is if you, let me zoom in here so you can see this better. If you hover over one image, it brings up information to the left. Um, and you can edit it, which is just changing the name of the image. You can optimize, which is where we're going to go to resize it. And you'll see right above this, it says this image is 300 pixels wide by 450 height. The width always comes first, the height always comes next. Another option is to view this in a full-size window. I'm going to zoom back out here and click on, well, first we have to hover so we can bring up those choices. Then I'm going to view, I'm going to click on view full size in new window. So you can see the actual size of the image that we're working with. Um, this is just a thumbnail of it, so that's always a good idea to click on view full size in a new window so that uh, you get a real idea of what's going on here. Okay, um, what we're going to do now is click on Optimize so that we can resize this thing. We're going to see it uh, doing some processing and here we are. Um, something to note, I'm going to go over here to all of our command area on the left. This percentage with the slider here, we go up, we go down, that does not change the size of the image it's just changing the size of what you're viewing um, so that you can zoom in on certain areas to work on just that area or to get the details of a certain area but that's not resizing the image to resize the image you have to click on the basic choices here you go down to where it says resize you click on that and then it gives you the current width and height of that image something very very important here where it says constrain proportions, make sure that that is checked. Constraining proportions means that when I change the width, it will automatically change the height accordingly and proportionately so that the image maintains the same ratio of height to width and does not become distorted. Okay, this one's 300 wide. We're going to go down to 200 wide um, on this one. So I do that, and as you can see, it automatically changed the height when I did that. So this one is now 200 by 300. I'm going to click Apply, and as soon as I do that, you'll see the image change on the screen. And you have to click Done, and then you have to click on Save. Okay, that's all there is to it. I'm going to go through this real quickly with the next image. Actually, before I do that, let's look at this again. Here is the original size. Now I'm going to take the new one and click on View Full Size in a New Window. I'm going to flip back and forth between the two. That was the original. This is the resize. Original, resize. Okay. What I'm going to do now is go through the same steps for the next picture, just real quickly. We go in here, we look at it, it says 535 wide, and we want to click on Optimize. Okay, as you can see, that picture is a lot larger. We go over here, we click on Basic, Resize. I'll zoom in. And let's bring this one down. If you have a tall image, you want to make it narrower, generally. It's always going to have a lot of height. So I'm going to bring this one down to 180, and now it's 180 wide by 262. Constrained proportions is checked. We click Apply. We click on Done, and then we click on Save. And that's all there is to it. 